Hey, so I was talking on Friday about organizing your time because as a dad, I feel like I'm all over the place and making time for this or for doing some work or spending time with the kids. Like everything just feels so hectic some days, right? And the best thing I've found to try to organize that is to be completely and crazily organized in such a way that it's, it's actually incredibly tedious and um, could really drive some people up the wall. But uh, I think about it like the ocean, like waves of chaos, okay? And sometimes chaos is really low, you know? The tide is out, the ocean is calm. And then other times, you get a tsunami and everything breaks at once and you have no idea what to do and you're going crazy. And you feel like the chaos of life is, is sabotaging you in whatever way, right? And so the way I go about fixing that or trying to mitigate it or to stay on top of everything and I'm not always on top of it sometimes I forget to do exactly what I'm about to describe but this process helps so much to keep those waves from crashing and completely derailing your day-to-day -day plans by surprising you <laughs> so you know that you need to change the oil of your car right I mean I hope you do it's like every six months, every 10,000 miles. Maybe you do it more frequently than that. Maybe you don't do it at all, and I would highly recommend you get on it. Uh, but how do you know when that time comes? I mean, sure, you might check your odometer. Sure, your car might be acting funny. Maybe you have a little sticker on your windshield that keeps reminding you. Who knows? The trick for me is to write everything down in a spreadsheet. Okay? And this is the tedious part of it. So... I make a spreadsheet dedicated specifically to car repair services, okay? It, I think it's actually called that, car repair stuff. And it's a very simple process. Uh, I've got like three columns in there. There's a date column, a description column where I describe exactly what was done to the car, and a price column for how much did it cost. You can add whatever you want. Where'd you get the service done? What have you? Sure. But it helps me stay on top of what does the car need? Because I'll, I'll go in and they'll change the oil or something. Yes, I can do it myself, but, you know, I'm lazy in that regard. Uh, <laughs> and they'll give you feedback like, hey, you're going to need to get your flux capacitor replaced soon. And your, your headlight fluid is running low and all that jazz. I'm like, great, great. And so I add that to the spreadsheet and make a plan about when that's going to be done. And, and then I don't think about it <laughs> because it's added to the spreadsheet, and I probably added it to a calendar after that just to make sure I've got a reminder to do those things. And the tedious part of this whole spreadsheet thing is that you're going to make a spreadsheet for everything. For everything. If you're a homeowner, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not a homeowner, I rent, but we recently moved into a home, everything breaks constantly. You have to take care of the weeds and the bugs and the, the hot water heater, all that jazz. Um, how do you keep track of the random chaos that's going to pop up? How do you keep track of termite infestations? <laughs> like you, that's a bad example because it's not something you can really keep on top of outside of the preventative care of spraying for bugs. Okay, so in this specific spreadsheet, you would have chores you have to do around the house. And these aren't day-to-day -day chores like dishes, which you should be doing every day also. Uh, but at least, well, I don't know, once a month, once every three months, whatever your treatment protocol is, have you sprayed for bugs? Because if you're not doing that regularly, you're going to get surprised one day. Bugs are going to invade the house, and uh, then you got to deal with that instead of working on your projects or spending time with your family. And it's not... I'm a little stuffed up right now, so sorry if it's the audio's a little weird. But uh, it... It's not the most fun thing to do. If you're a creative individual, writing out literally every little thing that you need to do in your life can feel like pulling nose hairs. Man, it's not going to be the most pleasant. If you're very uh, industrious, you know, you're not actually getting anything done right now. You're just writing out things that need to be done so that you can keep doing things that need to be done. Do you see? <laughs> like, it could be a very frustrating process to keep a spreadsheet updated and stay on top of the chaotic waves of activity in your life. But it's the best way I've found to organize it. 
So what I use, I just use a free email account. I give all my data to Google. I go into that Google Drive. I open up a new sheet and I label it, you know, like um, garage repairs, what have you. Okay. And you put in all the details and the dates that you've done a thing and maybe a list of stuff that still needs to be done. Add whatever those things are to a calendar event. Have it pop up on your phone or what have you. And that way, you can stay on top of the little bits of chaos that show up in your life. Because eventually, you are going to get overwhelmed, <laughs> right? Like your car's going to break down, you're going to bust your leg, uh, termites are going to invade. <laughs> you're going to be overwhelmed because you can't sit and watch the seventh season of The Office now. You now have to fix your house and the car and uh, your leg. <laughs> So, um, I would highly recommend doing this method and sitting down to ease your mind. It, it takes the stress of all those little things that could pop up, all the things you feel like you have to do or you're not on top of, you keep putting off. You write them down in these spreadsheets in a notepad. If you're tech illiterate or you're, you're not into going onto the computer, it doesn't matter. Just write these things down. And the cool thing for me was I realized that the 500 things that were on my mind, like I have so much I need to do before I can get to the things I want to do, right? Uh, the cool thing for me was realizing it's probably less than 50 things that you have to maintain. And that sounds like a lot. It really does. But it's not. It's really not that much. It's, it's a lot less than what's in your head right now. And when you write it down, you can actually get on top of it. I have no idea what my car needs next, but I know it's written down. I know I'm going to get a little reminder. I was like, hey, uh, you should probably go check the headlight fluid, right? I'm like, cool. All right. Will do. And yeah, that'll take some time out of my day. But then I don't have to refill that for <laughs> quite a while. Um, and, and you'll find eventually once you've organized all the little life chaos moments, you realize you have a lot of free time to do all those other things that you've been working on. So that's the that's the trick I employ, and I would highly recommend it to you. Just carve out a little space, just like 10 minutes every day for a week, and then you'll have your life written down in spreadsheets or in that little notebook, and you'll realize you can get on top of this, and those waves of chaos won't bury you in an ocean of stress. All right? Good luck out there. The kids are waking up. I gotta go. <laughs> Add that to the spreadsheet. All right. Talk to you later.